Two 12-year-old girls from Waukesha, Wisconsin, are in a juvenile detention center tonight. They're charged with attempting to kill another 12-year-old girl who was stabbed Saturday 19 times. Today, an attorney for one of the accused said she shows signs of mental illness. More now from Dean Reynolds. The brutality of the crime is hard to square with the ages of the accused. Two 12-year-olds now facing adult charges of attempted homicide. We've hidden their identity because of their age. Police say the suspects told them they assaulted their friend in a local park after months of planning, inspired by a website known for horror stories. Russell Jack is the Waukesha Chief of Police. From what you know of the case, did the suspects have difficulty distinguishing fact from fiction? It, it appears that based on their internet usage, the websites that they were on, that they had some difficulty with distinguishing that and thus they uh, carried out these acts. According to the criminal complaint, the girls wanted to kill their friend as an act of devotion to a horror character called Slender Man, whose exploits are distributed on a website called Creepy Pasta. Someone identified as the website's administrator wrote, only a small minority of people, mostly newcomers on the site, truly believe what they read here, adding, Something like this was bound to happen considering the size of the creepy pasta community. Slenderman videos have millions of views on YouTube. There's even a video game. For a lot of people, the, the real world and the internet world are essentially the same thing. I mean, Lindsay Turrentine with technology website CNET says Slenderman stories are the downside of going viral. They're very short. They're very easy to copy and paste and spread, and that's part of what has helped it move around in this sort of insidious fashion. Now, defense attorneys in this case say they will attempt to have it moved to juvenile court, Maurice, while the 12-year-old victim in this episode is described tonight as being in stable condition. Dean Reynolds in Waukesha, Wisconsin tonight. Thank you.